Hi friends, and welcome to practice. Today is going to be a quick little flow just to get into the hips and into the lateral side bodies. So when you're ready, go ahead and join me on your mat. And we'll begin today on our back body, kind of setting up for bridge pose. So soles of the feet are firmly planted on the mat. Knees are pointing skyward. You can walk your heels towards your sits bones if you like. A little bit close so that if you reach down with your fingertips, you could tickle, tickle, tickle your heels. From here, maybe with a hand on your belly and a hand on your heart. Take a second to check in. Feel the rise and fall of your hands with your inhales and your exhales. Inhales, expanding the belly, expanding the chest, even expanding the back of the heart, feeling your back kind of push into the mat. Exhales, bringing your navel into your spine, long, slow, purposeful out the mouth. <sighs> Connecting to our breath here is always a fantastic way to Bring awareness to the present moment. Being here now. You just taking this small amount of time to have a little nugget of practice is, well, it, it's a lot bigger than you think it is. It's, it's like about consistency and just being in your body and feeling joy through movement. So feel free today to set an intention for your practice. We'll be working with the collective intention of just moving to feel good. So with that being said, when you have big belly inhale, fill the belly, fill the chest, feel the hands rise and exhale out the mouth, make a sound, let something go. <sighs> Great. Take your hands and bend at the elbows so that they're at 90 degrees. Press the elbows into the mat. Fingertips are pointing towards the sky. Take an inhale here. Prepare for a gentle bridge pose. Exhale, press down through the heels. A gentle tuck in the tailbone here. Squeeze through the glutes to lift the hips up towards the sky. Press down with the elbows here to make it more about extension in the hips then a back bend. We'll save those for another class. Lovely. Take an inhale here. Stay for the exhale. Take another big belly inhale. Fill up. And exhale, slowly roll down vertebra by vertebra. <laughs> it's harder to say than you'd think sometimes. On your next inhale, press down through the heels. Squeeze the glutes. Press down through the elbows. Rise your hips up. And exhale, lower down. This time, listen for this switch. Inhale your legs and arms up into the sky. Beautiful, dead bug. Mm. This is a great gentle way to work through the core, bring some integrity. Also after, if you do like a cool core series, maybe some like crunches, pl planks, side planks. Dead bug is such a sick active rest pose that you can do because you will feel like you have some reprieve in the abdominals, but like you're still kind of like firing these muscles. And it's that tension over time that really are beneficial for a lot of our muscles, especially the abdominals. Anyways, I digress. So inhale here, exhale, plant the feet, push down with the elbows. At the same time, tuck that tailbone, squeeze the glutes, come back up into bridge pose. Great. Inhale, exhale, release to the mat. Inhale, arms up to dead bug. And exhale, back, press the elbows, press the feet, squeeze the glutes, lift the hips into bridge. Keep flossing here from dead bug into your active bridge pose. And take about five more flosses here. Riding your breath. This is your body. This is your movement. So maybe you like inhales through bridge. And maybe you like exhales into dead bug. 
Keep experimenting here. Riding the breath to enjoy this flow state. Starting to feel a little activity lighting up through the muscles. And two more here. Last one. Come back up into dead bug. And plant your feet back down. <sighs> Lovely. We're going to make our way to a tabletop position, quadruped. And a fun option to get there would be rocking and rolling. So grab at the backs of the thighs and just start a little gentle momentum. Rocking and rolling. Massaging those ropey muscles of the back body. Seeing if you can get some momentum to kind of, ooh, pop yourself up a little farther. Take it as slow or as intense as you'd like. And when you're ready, next time, roll back, cross the ankles. Come over your shins and lap and walk yourself. If you came off your mat like I did, <laughs> walk yourself back into tabletop pose. From here, stack your wrists under your shoulders and your hips over your knees. Beautiful. Take a couple of wrist circles here to warm up through the wrists. Nothing major, just circling in one direction and then circling in the other. Beautiful. Find some stillness here in your tabletop. Grip into the mat with your hands, active fingers here. Press down through the mat. Puff gently a little bit through the back of the heart. Lovely, keep pressing the ground away. Beautiful, amazing. Take an inhale here and dip your belly low. Flick the tailbone towards where the wall and the ceiling meet and drag your heart in between your arms. Look up for cow. Exhale, press the ground away, tuck the tailbone. Bring the navel into spine and puff through the back of the heart like a Halloween kitty. Meow, into cat. Inhale, drop the belly into cow. Spread through the collarbones, flick the sits bones. Exhale, press the ground away, tuck the tailbone, puff the back of the heart. Take a couple more cat cows here. Linking your breath to your movement. Maybe you even do opposite what I said. Maybe you exhale into cow and you inhale into cat. Hmm, what do you experience in your belly through these inhales, this space of filling the container with air and expressing the air out the nose? Hmm. Take two more cat cows. Keep pressing the ground away, strong hands. Last one. Into cat, beautiful. And just come back to neutral tabletop. Amazing. So. Shift the weight more so into your left knee so you could begin to rise this right knee off of the mat. Great. Keep pressing down through the hands, even that right one. It gets a little bit sassy <laughs> from time to time. So take a big belly inhale here, prepare. Exhale, shoo, open your right leg out to the side like you're a puppy peeing on a fire hydrant. A nice flex into the foot here. Beautiful. And exhale that leg back down. Shoo. Inhale, pulse it up. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, pulse it up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up once more. And exhale, down. I lied. Inhale, leg goes up. Exhale, extend the leg out to the side. Pause. Three, two, one. Whew. Release that foot onto the mat and walk your hands up so that you can bring your torso over your hips. Beautiful. Inhale your arms out into a T. Exhale, slide your right hand down the right thigh. Flip over the left palm and bring the arm overhead. Lovely. Reach with that left arm towards the right side of the mat. Feeling a beautiful stretch in our side bodies here. Expanding through the left rib cage. Thinking about the distance from that bony hip point of the left side and the left side of our ribs. 
Take another inhale here and exhale. Shoo, your torso back over your hips, arms out in a T. Now, stay where you are, but I'll flip around so you can watch this a little easier. So here we are in this gate pose. Lovely. Take a big inhale here and exhale. Drip the left hand down to the mat, coming into a supportive side plank. You can stay on tented fingertips or if you'd like, come down to the palm. Beautiful. Reach with the right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, flip the palm and bring your arm overhead. <sighs> Feeling this long line of energy from the outside, the pinky edge of the right foot, springing out through the, pinky, the fingers <laughs> of the right hand. Take an inhale here. Keep pressing the ground away. Exhale. What happens if you squeeze your glutes? Oh, lovely. Take another big belly inhale here. Exhale, prepare, press, fling yourself back up. Torso over hips, lovely. Maybe roll through the wrists, cool. Hmm. And exhale, plant your hands. And walk over towards that right foot. You can pop up onto the heel so that your toes point skyward. Or if you like this foot at this angle, Stay here, feel free. Whatever's comfortable for you. Keep walking those fingertips towards your foot, thinking long spine still here, and a micro bend or generous bend into your right knee is wonderful. Take an inhale here and an exhale. Maybe sink it a little deeper. Another big belly inhale. Another full, purposeful exhale. <sighs> Inhale, walk your hands back through center and pop, spring off of your tented fingertips. Beautiful. Once more, bend forward. Bring your sits bones towards your heel. Lovely. Press down, shift the weight into your hands and slide your right leg back to meet the left. Lovely. So, other side. But first, a couple cat cows. Take an inhale here into cow. Exhale into cat, puff and round. Whew. Inhale back into cow. Exhale into cat, puff and round. Whew. Lovely. Left side, prepare for the puppy fire hydrant business. So, shift the weight more so into the right knee. Keep pressing down through the left hand. Don't let it get sassy. From here, take a big belly inhale and exhale. Shoo, lift that knee off towards the side. Beautiful. Puppy peeing on a fire hydrant. Keep pressing the ground away. Strong foundation here. Take an inhale. Exhale the leg back to meet the other. Shoo. Inhale, leg up. Exhale down. Shoo. Inhale, leg up. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last time. Inhale up for hold. Pause. Three, two, one. Great. Extend the leg. Oops, I messed up. I'm sorry. Hold for three, two, one. Oh, drop that foot on the ground. <laughs> and walk your torso back up over your hips. Lovely. And I'll move once more so you can see from this angle. Great. Inhale, arms up to a T. Exhale, slide the left hand down the left leg. Flip the right palm and come into that lovely gate pose. Feeling a nice opening at these side ribs here, all the way down to the hip. Reaching actively with the right hand towards the left side. Feeling expansive here. Take an inhale here, big belly breath. Exhale out the mouth. Another inhale. And exhale, shoo, back in arms in a T. Stack the shoulders over the hips. Lovely. Another inhale here. Exhale, reach, reach, reach with the right hand. Tented fingertips touch the mat or palm of the hand. Left hand flips the palm and comes overhead into the supported side plank. Maybe squeeze through the glutes. Ooh. See if that does anything for you on the front side of your hip where your little front pockets would be. Once again, long line of energy from the pinky toe all the way out the hands. Hmm. Inhale here. Exhale. 
Take another inhale here. Exhale out the mouth. Another inhale, load your spring. Exhale, pop back Whew, up skyward. Lovely. Drip your hands in front of you on the mat and begin to walk them over towards that left foot. Keep reaching those toes. And remember, you can pop up onto the heel here and let the toes point skyward, whatever is most comfortable. Long spine, collarbone shine towards the foot. Tap into your breath. Saturate the entire back line of your left leg with your breath. Maybe reach a little bit more with that right hand expanding through the right side body. Take a big inhale here. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, walk the fingertips towards the front of your body once more and pop back up into gate pose. Lovely. Take another inhale. Grow long, long spine. Exhale, hands back to the mat. Press the ground away. Give us another inhale. And exhale, slide that left leg back to meet your knee. I'll return back to my original position here. And go ahead and open the knees wide towards the sides of the mat. And with long arms out, out outreached here, <laughs> out long. Hmm. Send the sits bones towards the heels for a wide leg child's pose. Move my mic so hopefully it doesn't get crunchy. You can place your forehead down onto the mat. Maybe rolling the head back and forth, massaging the area in between the eyebrows. Take a big inhale here. And for your exhale, breathe through your mouth like you're blowing through a straw. Now, walk your hands over towards the left side of your mat, bringing your torso a little bit more to rest on your left thigh. Great. Purposefully, inch your right hand a little bit farther out from your left hand. Beautiful. Now from here, with your head pointing down towards the mat, take a big inhale and exhale, roll onto the pinky side of your right hand. Great. So your thumb is pointing skyward. Fingers are pointing towards like the kitty corner of the mat. Great. Lift through the elbow, press down through that pinky side and rest your head on your bicep here on the right bicep, kind of adding a little bit of weight. Inhale here. Stay for the exhale. On an inhale, plant the palm, lift the head. Beautiful. Exhale, return to that space. Roll onto the pinky edge. Bring your head onto your bicep. Inhale, your hand back flat. Exhale, onto the pinky. Inhale, flat. Once more. Exhale, onto the pinky. Inhale, flat. Great. Walk it through to the right side, allowing your torso to more so be closer to the right thigh and walk the left hand a little bit farther out from the right. Same deal here. Take a big inhale. Exhale, roll onto the pinky edge of the left hand. Let your ear touch your left bicep. Inhale, flat palm. Roll off. Exhale, roll in onto the pinky. Ear rests. Inhale, palm flat. Exhale, roll over. Inhale, palm flat, and once more. Exhale, roll over. Inhale, palm flat, lovely. Walk your hands back into the middle of your mat into standard child's pose and see if you notice anything different, maybe a little bit more melting of the chest towards the mat. Beautiful. Take a big belly inhale here. And a nice long exhale out the mouth. Shh. 
Return to your intention. Remember that sometimes all we need to do is just move a little bit to feel good. And with that being said, I'll leave you here in child's pose for as long as you like. If there's any other shapes you'd like to take today at this time on your mat, please do. Thank you so much for joining me today in this short practice, and I hope to see you in the next.